Tripogen is an object generator plugin that creates abstract geometry from the desired elements. After installing, you will find it under Plugins menu. To get started, you simply have to make the desired geometry, a child of Tripogen, and you will immediately see its effect. You can decrease the reduction and subdivision values to see the true topology of the child object. Each new topology type will correlate to this effect, and you'll be able to visualize edges of the base geometry as a polygonal mesh. The plugin is capable of working with all its child objects as well as take effect into sublevels of the hierarchy. Interesting results can be achieved if you will apply the Voronoi fracture. You can take control over individual pieces of the Voronoi fracture after removing the base source and by utilizing the matrix object. Results will be even better if you apply the desired Mograph effector and change its settings to your liking. Geometry modes gives you different options of the geometry types. When the tripogen mode is set to edges, the plugin will visualize edges of the base object as a polygonal geometry. Depth value defines a distance between an edge of the original polygons and the corresponding edge of the inner elements. Variation parameter gives a percentage value for the variation of the depth. Its slider is limited to 100, however, you can push this value up to 200. Enter a thickness value here to give polygons volume. The volume is achieved by extruding the polygons in the direction of their surface normals. The same settings will be applied when the tripogen mode is set to polygons. Base core. This geometry type works just like edges mode, but it's not removing the base geometry and applies all the tripogen settings to it. The offset value defines the distance between separate objects. Combined thickness. This geometry type simultaneously combines the thickness of the edges and polygons. If the geometry type generates two different objects, then you can apply appropriate materials to each of them. Double extrusion. This geometry type extrudes polygons and applies all tripogen settings. This iteration is performed two times. Subdivision settings are split into two parts. Subdivision editor defines how the geometry will be displayed in the viewport, while the subdivision renderer parameters defines its appearance in the final render. Smooth subdivision rounds your geometry by adding more polygons, while the linear subdivision is executed before the smooth subdivision and is used to emphasize edges of the tripogen.
This subdivision type makes sense only in conjunction with a smooth subdivision. Otherwise, it will not give you any noticeable results. Curved subdivision adds folds and creases. In some cases, it can be used instead of the linear subdivision. While the linear subdivision affects each and every edge of the base geometry, curved subdivision will be applied only to the end corners of the mesh. Spiky subdivision creates thorns from original points. It is recommended to keep its value lower than 2. An overall size of extruded spikes can be altered by changing the thickness value. You can easily emphasize its effect by applying the curved method in conjunction with the spiky subdivision. When the subdivision method is set to editor mode, all the settings from subdivision editor will be copied into subdivision renderer. If the subdivision method is set to renderer, all these settings will be unlocked, and you'll be able to set different levels of subdivision for the editor and for the final image. You can quickly exchange data between these settings by executing the copy commands. Combined value defines the maximum value of all subdivision settings. Tripogen will automatically subtract values from the subdivision value if its combination with other settings results in higher number than a specified limit. Polygons limit specifies the maximum number of polygons received from original geometry. Polygons value simply displays the number of polygons and cannot be changed directly. If this value is higher than a specified limit, new geometry will not be generated, and all settings will be locked. It is recommended to use reduction value in order to decrease the number of points below the specified limit to allow tripogen generating new polygons. Alternatively, if you want to keep the base mesh without reducing its number of polygons, then you can simply increase the limit value, and the base mesh will be accepted by tripogen. Angle parameter works in the same way as the phone angle. Use the slider to define the angle to which two neighboring surfaces should be connected. Interesting results will be achieved if you will experiment with round objects. This parameter will completely remove all the details from flat surfaces. However, you can increase the reduction value in order to change the angle at the corners of your geometry. This setting will define how far apart object points can lie to be welded in order to reduce the number of polygons. Unlike reduction value, it can be used to remove only unnecessary small details from your geometry, while larger polygons will not be affected. Elements will be simply welded if the distance is below this value, even if these are separated objects. This allows connecting different objects in a hierarchy. You can increase or decrease its reduction value in order to define the desired level of details and change its random seed value to see multiple variations of currently reduced geometry. By reducing the number of polygons, an angle between these elements is growing, so it is recommended to use this parameter in combination with angle 